When I was in Boston, one day at practice, Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish and Dennis Johnson, they cornered me. They came over and said, hey, what's going on, Bill? I said, what do you mean, what's going on? We're just getting ready for practice. And they said, no, 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 Bill, something's happening here in Boston because there's all kinds of people with tie-dye t-shirts on. They all got long hair and they smell funny. What's happening here? I said, well, the Grateful Dead are coming to town. They said, really? Grateful Dead? Jerry Garcia? They're going to play in Boston? Do you know those guys, Bill? I said, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go to the concert, too. And they said, well, do you think we could go, too, Bill? I said, let me check it out. And so... I go out and I asked Ramrod and Big Steve and Robbie Taylor and all the guys if it would be all right if some of the Celtics would come. And they said, sure, no, no problem. But I had to explain to everybody in the Grateful Dead that this was you know, in Boston and the Celtics were just icons. And they couldn't really go out in public because they were so popular. So they said, we'll take care of this, Bill. And so they built this special little enclave right on the side of the stage where unless you were on the stage, you couldn't look into this little area. It was all curtained off and everything. Just a perfect little place to watch the concert. And everybody that night met at Larry Bird's house. Everybody, that is, with the exception of Danny Ainge, his wife, wouldn't let him go. And so here we were at Larry's house. We met at Larry's house. And he arranged for this incredible fleet of limousines for us to all go to the concert together. And so we get there, and, and, and I'm introducing all the guys backstage. Jerry, here's Larry, Kevin, here's uh, Bob Weir, and Phil, and Robert Parrish, and Dennis Johnson, literally everybody just going around. And then Cameron comes up, Cameron and Robbie, they come up and they say, okay, it's time to start the show, let's go, you guys. And so they take us up on the stage first, and, they, and the lights are all dark, so you can't see anything, and we sort of sneak around and we go in the back, and then they bring these coolers full of our favorite drinks, milk and water and 7-Up, and put them right in front of us. And then the Grateful Dead come up on the stage, and the crowd just goes nuts. It's the most electric atmosphere, and everybody jumping up and down, the anticipation, the excitement, what could be better? And these guys on the Celtics had never seen a Dead show before. I mean, I, hundreds, hundreds of shows for me. And so, while the band is warming up and taking the last few notes, and the excitement is just so palpable. Your skin is just, just goosebumps, electric as can be. Jerry Garcia, he steps forward into that little shaft of light, right where his microphone is, just to make sure everything is perfect, making sure his foot pedals are all there. And then he looks over into the enclave, and he makes eye contact with Larry Bird. And he looks at him, gives him a nod, a little wink, and he says to him, Jerry, uh, excuse me, he says to him, Larry, this is what we do. And then he turned back to the audience and just blew it out. Five, six hours. Unbelievable. The crowd just absolutely on fire. The show's over. The band races off the stage. They got to get to the next show. The lights come on. Everybody is just wild-eyed as can be. It's so charged up. And the guys on the Celtics, they look at me and they say, wow. Oh my gosh, can we come back tomorrow? And they've been going ever since.